What's up dudes? I'm Nizzy Dude, and welcome back to the Wolf Among Us. So we are doing a, if I correct this should be episode four. I'm pretty sure. Oh sorry, we finished episode three last week. You can never get tired of that music. You stay in and play some I'm pretty sure we're on episode four now. There's how many episodes this one is a five? Yeah, sorry, in episode 4. In the sheep's clothing. He fucked us all. He burned Crane's stuff. We'll go get, no, we'll, we'll get right in and play this. What interesting stuff would happen? I'm surprised Bigby's 5, to be honest with you. The amount of gunshots he took, um... If you can't Plus. afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? So. I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? With the old, in with the new, long live the queen. Yeah. A lot happened last time. I was big be doing <laughs> see. It's probably just barely surviving. Plus the thing with fables, they can take um a lot. You're not looking too bad, that is very loud. Business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. Uh, we can't oh, keep this way all God. the way. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. Just I'll be okay. <laughs> still let me finish. Swinehart, how bad is it? Well, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. I must say, you're testing even my skills here. Please, Big B, don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. I would just leave it to him whenever. <laughs> oh god. It's gonna hurt like a bitch. Oh god. Move it back over. Oh, I hit it. I hit it. I hit it. It did it, though. Hmm. Not bad. 
That'll do, I suppose. I, I was walking again. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. I can hear you. You know, I can hear you. Quiet. <laughs> Just relax. We didn't want this to happen either, you know. Just... <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay. At least until he's... Out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands. And I need the space to work. So I'll be fine. Don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. We'll be down in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin... You're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Could I get some quiet in here? Yes, that would be helpful. Sorry. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me and... Well, this time. Jesus Christ, dude. This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him. Please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep, mostly. Just keep watch. And make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. Snow has enough to deal with, Swinehart. I can take care of myself. Clearly. <laughs> Clearly, you look state of Guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin? Swiney? God, baby. You should take your beer straight after. So, how do you, um, feel? Well, it's better. Big B, Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I see him uh, take worse. <laughs> not as good as can be expected, I think. So, not well, then. <laughs> you had us. <clears throat> you had us worried there for a while. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swinehart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were... And uh, pretty hard to kill. Take some more yeah, out. you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Thanks, <laughs> ruining. Colin. I'm just saying, I was worried about him, is all. He killed the he moment. He hasn't had a night's nice rest in days. <laughs> well, I'll get Colin. some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? The Crooked Man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The Crooked Man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying. That's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder him. Yeah, uh, 
Thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. <laughs> Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? I'm... Or that the crooked man thinks he's got Snow under his thumb? We're she all mad about it, Colin. What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... Just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How Keep long has this stuff there. been going on? Crane was a puppet. And the crooked man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? And Faith? I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. Somehow. The crooked man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I, I don't mean? know. I don't uh, know, but it suspiciously sounds like your things. way. <laughs> Bigby's the one on the front lines. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's she not good tried. enough. <laughs> That's not good enough. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not Wait. saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. <laughs> this town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice- I'll do better. We'll do better. We have to be better than them, or what's the point? Right, exactly. Thank I you. agree with her. I know, at the point, Look, we didn't really have much I'm of a choice. I'm sorry that I have to bring all this up, but, but yeah, I, was... I think it's important. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Well, at least someone understands. <laughs> Thanks, Colin. We like this. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the oh, farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. Just look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. <laughs> you ran off. I'm not. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? Off. Oh, don't, don't put us on me, dude. Please, this next scene. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Bluebeard? Narissa. Narissa? Okay. okay. That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. And what do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, she disenfranchised. Knows she knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. I want to splash these back on the drink. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Dad, yes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Oof. Hey, 
You're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here, right? Uh, I don't, Look, I don't really maybe want Maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. Is that the mean toad and his um toad you can get sent to the farm? I don't know if I have cash just stole all day away or something, or maybe they have a way of getting cash. What? That's a weird place to start this intro, but fair enough. Episode 4 in Sheep's Clothing. Well, Narissa. Hi. Baby's office. Sheriff. What a lovely morning. Hi, Narissa. It's the crack. Have a seat. Have a sheesh and we'll talk. Are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't uh, sure you'd be, you know, you should, around you should see the other guy. <laughs> if I came by. I've been better. Let's just say I've been better. <laughs> oh yeah, smoking, that's a great choice after being shot multiple times. Passion puffs. Not many people smoke those. Or you take one of your own fancy cigars. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? No, it's... What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. And you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? Send me somewhere else. You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... might work. Green wasn't the murderer. The open arms was a setup. And you sent me there. Was there someone else you wanted me to find there? These lips are sealed. God uh, damn it. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. You can trust Are me. Are you saying you need a friend right now? <laughs> you can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter, and I... 
I don't have any left. You know, some of the other ones I've got to put in play. So I oh. hope you're looking after yours. <laughs> Are you? Look around you. It's my job to look out for people. I didn't care for my fans as well, though. I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but. Your lips are sealed. But. But your lips are sealed. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? I don't know if you can... Are you going to remove it? I don't think that's the best idea. Something I can do about it. No! His lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! So. You can't do that! Slow down. It's alright. I'm not gonna do anything. Please, don't. <sighs> Chill. I'm sorry. Okay. I get it. So the ribbons, Yoink. <laughs> if you take them off, does. I'm sorry. Sorry, I wish I could do something. If anyone finds out I came here, that's probably snow. Yeah. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? There wasn't much of a conversation. I a lot of trouble. I won't tell anyone. Don't worry. Thank you. There's not a lot really happened, in fairness. It's okay. You just like, what are you do doing? Sorry. I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. We didn't really have much of a conversation. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Uh, wait, you don't have to go. That was... abrupt. It's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? Uh, sure enough. She told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're uh, they scared about reason. what's been going on? Well, whatever it is, I'm sure they called for a reason. Suppose I better go check it out. Yeah. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Right. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That <laughs> would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. 
Toodles. Got another save point. Alright, um, so pause. So I'll leave this video here for now, but, um, and let me know what you guys think so far, because we have, we're getting a bit more, just slowly and surely, um, I think, like, with, with the girls, like, their lips are sealed, so it's like something with the ribbon, like, if they take the ribbon off, is that, in the head? Is that, does the head just fall off, or what's the deal? Like, <laughs> I know she didn't want us taking the ribbon, so maybe I would, I don't know, I'm forget this too early in the morning for this. But we're, oh shit, is it five episodes? Four, it might be, I think it could be five. I'm really not sure, I don't I know it's four, there be five, I'm not sure. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think so far, and if you're enjoying this, and if you, again, if you think you know what's going to happen, but if you know what's going to happen, obviously don't spoil anything. <laughs> but most importantly, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to click that like button, and I'll see you dudes next time. Stay easy, y'all.